Hi everyone, this is Bethany, BI Crafty Girl, and I wanted to share a really quick Hobby Lobby haul. But before I do that, uh, one of my things that I got at Michael's jump ship into the wrong sack. So I did get this at Michael's as well. One of the uh, cling rubber stamps, Tim Holtz. I really liked the butterflies. And I, I mainly got it for this one though, the Harlequin stamp. But I like all the stamps in this set, very cute. And then on to what I got at Hobby Lobby. I didn't get very much. Um, the Tim Holtz stuff at Hobby Lobby seemed a little better price point. I don't know. I don't have crafty stores close to me. Um, I'm used to shopping online, so I just sometimes I think things in stores are kind of overpriced for what you can get them either on Etsy or on eBay. Of course, though, it, I'm kind of an insta instant gratification kind of person, though, too. So I like picking things up at store and actually looking at them. But I did pick up some Tim Holtz embossing folders. And these are old in new packaging. And I realize this. But when they first came out, I just was not sure if I liked them. But I think, you know, I like the ones that I got. I probably won't get the other ones because I don't like the others as much. I got the collage and notebook set. So there's that, and then um, I got the bingo and patchwork set, and uh, I really like the patchwork one. I think it's really cool, and of course, I like the bingo one as well, and then uh, the stamps were either 40% off or 50% off, so I picked up this Tim Holtz one in a clear, because they don't have the rubber cling. I think I, pre I actually think I prefer the rubber cling, but... Get what you can get. I actually got this set for the bingo card because it matches the bingo embossing folder. So, and I just think that's neat. I like it when things match. And then I also got it for this. I'm trying to get all the patterns so that I can do the the rage technique with the black ink and the and the white pen. So I'm trying to get all the patterny ones. Like, and this one had the Harlequin one. And then uh, I got the ball and chain closure. And I don't remember whose video it was. I'm so upset. I don't remember whose video it was. But she had bound her um, her art journal or her smash book or her junk journal or whatever you want to call it with the ball and chain. And I just thought that was way cool. So... I'm totally scrap lifting that. So if it's you, thank you very much for your very good idea. And uh, so I got this. And I thought it was a pretty good deal. It was $4. And then I found this. And all the wood was um, unfinished wood stuff was 50% off. And when I found it, I was really excited. I was in a hurry. So I didn't actually open it. I just grabbed it because I thought it was a baby cigar box. And I was like, oh, that is awesome. It's a baby cigar box. But it's not, actually. It is a card, a playing card case, which is kind of fun. And you put your playing cards in there, and then you can take them with you. The only complaint I have about Hobby Lobby unfinished wood or... Um, paper mache is that it always seems that the closures are crooked like the bottom one is fine but the top one is not and that just bothers me and I realize it was $1.99 half off so like I paid a dollar for it but that just bothers me that it's not straight and maybe that's everywhere with this kind of stuff but if you can see that top one is just crooked so I don't know maybe that just bothers me anyway that is my little haul from Hobby Lobby with one stamp set that was from Michaels and uh, I will talk to you later hopefully tomorrow or maybe later today I can put up a video showing you my smash book that I made for vacation. I'm going to Disney World. We're leaving Thursday. Way excited. 
and I made my own smash journal to take with me to, it's, I don't know if it's really a smash journal or if it's just scrapbooking to go, a mini to go. Maybe that's what a smash journal is, I don't know. But when I get back from vacation, I hope to really start art journaling a lot more. I really think that that's going to be freeing. Because usually when I make stuff, it I have to have a purpose for it. And I think that art journaling may, like, combat that. So, anyway, me rambling, I apologize. Hopefully later today or tomorrow I will have a video up of my uh, smash book for Disney World. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.